Hello one, hello all, it's Billy here with the all new Throwback Thursday. For now on, I'm going to list facts about the game that I am playing. Today I am listing facts about the Mega Man X and the Mega Man series. Number 1, Mega Man X. Mega Man X was released on the Super Nintendo on December 17th, 1993. If you wanted to get this game new, it would cost you $60, just like today's games. I'm surprised that today's games are still $60 because there was so much more to do in them than an older game. The Super Nintendo was released in 1990, so this game got released in the middle of the Super Nintendo's time period. Number 2. Number of Mega Man Games There are so many Mega Man games from the NES era all the way up to the 360 and PlayStation 3 era. The first Mega Man game, Mega Man 1 of course, it was released on the NES on December 17, 1987, two years after the NES came out. It was also released the same day as Mega Man X, December 17th, but not the same year, of course. When this game got released, everyone loved it and wanted more. Mega Man 1 through 6 was released on the NES. Mega Man 7 was released on Super Nintendo. 8 was released on PlayStation and Sega Saturn. 9 and 10 was released on WiiWare, PlayStation Network, and Xbox Live. There was also a Mega Man X series of games. Mega Man X and X2 was released on Super Nintendo. X3 was released on Super Nintendo, PlayStation, and Sega Saturn, and so on. There were even more Mega Man series games, like Mega Man Legends, the Mega Man Battle Network series, which was only released on handheld systems. The Mega Man Zero series was also released on handheld systems. The Mega Man ZX series, and the Mega Man Star Fort series. There were so many Mega Man games, so sorry about the long rant. Off to the next fact. Number 3. Price of Mega Man Games the prices of Mega Man games are outrageous. The price of the Mega Man games range from $20 all the way up to $200. People spend crazy money on these games. The ones on NES are the most expensive because people say they are the best. But there is a lot of mixed opinions going around. I think that Mega Man 2 is the best because it's not that hard compared to the other Mega Man games and it's an easy game to get. Number 4. Names and Level Names in Japan, Mega Man was called Rockman because Capcom of USA wanted to change the name to be more fit in America. They were even considering the name Rainbow Man because he changed his color in some of the games. In Mega Man, there are level names. For example, in Mega Man 2, there is Bubble Man, Air Man, Quick Man, Heat Man, Wood Man, Metal Man, Flash Man, and Crash Man. I think that is really cool because people today make their own characters and it gives a chance for everyone to show their creativity and what they can do. Well, that's all from me, Toodaloo. Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen the past episodes, go watch them. Look forward to next week's episode and I'll be doing Donkey Kong Country.